Good afternoon everyone and God bless you all. I'd just like to uh, just tell you about a, a testimony I'd to share a testimony with you. I like to um, watch things on YouTube and uh, every now and then I go to um, watch things on Sid Roth and I'd like to encourage you if you're interested in seeing God working in, in different people's lives and in different ways this man brings on speakers to to uh, talk about their testimonies and what God's doing in their life and this particular one I want to share with you it's quite unusual it's about a Catholic priest who was saved and if you want to go into the internet and have a look his name is Dr. Francis Sizer. Now, he was a Catholic priest in his first year and he was praying one night in his room and he was, um, he was feeling desperate and he wanted to know more and he was searching and while he was in prayer he felt the presence of God entering his bedroom and and what happened was he felt he felt some energy flowing into his body and he said it was his body was flooded and his soul and he said you've been here all the time and all along and I didn't really even know it God so he was at a point where he wanted to know more and he was searching and God entered his room and he felt the presence of God there and it was something that it was a level that the Catholic Church really doesn't understand or, or teaches on and then what happened a few weeks after that experience there were a group of people giving praise and glory and, uh, in the basement of the church so he decided to to go and investigate and see what the meeting was about and what happened was there was a group of charismatic, charismatic Catholics they were singing and giving praise and worship to God so he joined in and he shouted out they put him in the middle of the circle as they were singing and praising and, Sorry. and he shouted out God is here he recognized the presence of, of God in a special way and scripture has been read from the Bible and what happened the people in the group laid hands on the priest and what they did they were praying for the baptism of the Holy Spirit something he never understood and what he said was that he felt this energy flowing through him and it was like liquid fire of love and he, he shook and he shook and he shook for an hour and what happened the people Everyone in, there in the, in the group actually left him and he was there alone and that night his testimony is he went, when he made it back to his bedroom, he had an out of body experience. So here he is, he goes to a prayer group, they lay hands on him, he receives the baptism of fire, the baptism of the Holy Spirit, the next thing he knows he goes to bed, he lays down and he has an out-of-body experience, he went to heaven. This is his testimony. And he ain't, he heard the angels singing and it was a beautiful place. He didn't want to come back. But he heard a voice saying, you've got work to do. And immediately he was back into his body. But what he noticed when he woke up the very next mo mo morning, he noticed that his hands were filled with the power and the anointing that he felt earlier on so God gave him healing hands and and what happened from that point on he um, he started a healing service and his healing service went for, for nine years and he said every service he had two and a half thousand people coming to every service for to be healed this went on for nine years and at the end, he, um, the next thing he testified was that he went to a, um, 
a full gospel businessman's meeting and I can encourage you and, and recommend that you you search out and see where you can go to one of these, these meetings. I've been to a few of them. There's actually one at Blacktown at the RSL Club. I don't know, is it Monday or Tuesday night? I'm not sure. Monday, once a month. One, once a month every Monday. And uh, what happens, you've got... Third Monday. Believers that come to this group, they normally have a meal beforehand. They go to a room and what they do, they invite a special speaker to talk about uh, their testimony and how God is working in their life. Well, this priest, was uh, Francis, was invited to a, one of the meetings and he was the speaker and the first thing they asked him, what's a Catholic priest doing here? They couldn't, they couldn't believe that a Catholic priest was saved, he had healing hands and, uh, you know, they were wondering and they asked him, what's a Catholic priest do, you know? And you got to remember, these are Presbyterians, they're all born again Christians, and all of a sudden they've got a Catholic priest amongst them. They welcomed him, and they asked him, what, to, what did he do? And he said he couldn't really uh, explain it properly to them, and he said the next thing that happened, a lady came up to him and whispered in his ear and said, the answer is in the veil, and she disappeared. And he looked around, and his, his testimony is that that lady was an angel. So he got word from an angel and an answer that he needed. And what happened after that, um, I'll just try and find the man's name. The, the leader of the, of the FGB was actually part of that meeting, who's sitting next to him. His name is um, Demas Shetarian. Sh Sh and he spoke to him and he says, you need to go to Hebrews 10:19." and read about the curtain. And this is and this is what Hebrews this is what's written in, in Hebrews ten nineteen. It says, Therefore brothers and sisters, since you now have confidence to enter the holy of holies through the veil, which is his body, that's Christ, and through his blood, Christ's blood. Come forth into my chamber with confidence, because I am your God. And as soon as he read that, he realised that there was no need for him to be a priest anymore. You want mine? No, no. And to work in a sacramental um, surroundings of a church, he realised at that point that everybody had the right to come to God. And he said that Jesus once for all offered himself for us. And he said that people, now as they receive Christ, all become a priesthood of believers. And all have access to God. Now, you've got to realize that he's a man who uh, uh, educated in scripture, he had knowledge, he had love for God, um, he was a priest, but he didn't have the knowledge of being born again and entering into the holies of holies. And if there's one thing I want to say to, to the Catholics, the priests, brothers, nuns, um, cardinals and bishops, here's a testimony from a Catholic priest. He didn't know about being born again. After all the teaching and all the doctrines, he did the best he could out of his heart with what he had, but he didn't know there was another step that you need to take in faith. And you need to be born again, as Jesus said you need to in John 3.3. 3. If you're not born spiritually, you won't get through the gates of heaven, and you will not get to heaven. So, and in Hebrews it says, so also Christ did not glorify himself to become high priest, but it was he who said to him, that's God, his father, you are my son, today I have begotten you.
You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. And you know in Romans, and now in Revelation 1 6, it says that by the blood of Jesus Christ that you're made priests and kings. And that will happen to you the moment you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And I'm encouraging everyone here and everyone listening ask God now for the, the baptism of the Holy Spirit, the baptism of fire, the power and the anointing. And what you need to do is come to God, acknowledge that you're a sinner. Come to him in repentance and say you're sorry. And then confess Jesus well, you, and ask him into you your heart. One, okay? It's at that very yeah, yeah. moment you'll receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And it's an invitation. No one can give you this gift. It's a free free gift from God. You have to go to him sincerely and make Jesus your Lord and your Saviour. So just share this prayer with me. And just go ahead the same way as uh, our brother here did and even he had no no knowledge of this and I can say myself I'm a baptized Catholic I had no knowledge of this experience until I went to God personally on my own I couldn't get it from my my church priest brother nuns not even the Pope mentions being born again there's no teaching about it but there's lots of teaching in the Bible if you get in there and read it and just go to John 3.3 3 and see what Jesus says about it. It's a commandment. And so just like uh, Father Francis Caesar, come to God now. Meet Jesus, your, your Lord and your Saviour. And in his own words, he said, God is present. And that's what this is all about. Make God present in your life. Say this prayer with me. I repent of my sin and Jesus died for me. He was crucified. He rose from the dead. Jesus, come into my heart. Open your heart and receive it now. And receive the Holy Spirit and the love of God in the name of Jesus. Amen.